have a child. I have a child, he's two, and I love him, but I have now found out that the feeling is not mutual. <laughs> Took this boy to a fire station, he run off, start kicking it with all the firefighters. I get it now, I get why cops don't like firefighters. They got, they got, they got, they got all this charisma, firefighters. They got all this charisma, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. This, this is how much we love firefighters. Firefighters get the same amount of hero love as cops but none of the scrutiny, no side. Of, you've never looked at a firefighter and wondered if he's one of the good ones. <laughs> it's never happened. Hey, you wanna be a good cop, you gotta hand out free ice cream, you gotta go to the hood and dance with children. You wanna be a good firefighter, all you gotta do is take your shirt off and make a calendar. That's it, you win the game. You can't be cooler than a firefighter. Only person cooler than a firefighter is a forest firefighter. That's next level, because they ain't got no equipment. They just out in the woods with a chainsaw and a shovel. That's all they have. A chainsaw and a shovel, chopping trees, flipping. It's basically CrossFit. That's what that job is. It's the X Games of firefighting. I'm like, oh, you like fighting fire? Well, can you do it without a truck or water? And if that doesn't work, the only thing the forest firefighters have as backup is a helicopter flying overhead, just drizzling something on top of the fire. And I'm sure, I'm sure it's doing something. I'm sure it's helping, but I'm watching from the house and I see that helicopter with the bucket and it drizzle. I'm like, that didn't do anything at all. You need more helicopters. <laughs> only person cooler than a forest firefighter is a volunteer firefighter. That's the next level, because they ain't getting no money. No money to just fight fire on the side. They already have a job. They have a job. And then every now and then, they just, hey, man, I'll be at work. But let me know if something's burning. I'm happy to swing by. <laughs> Who you know running to a burning building as a side hustle? <laughs> You've got to respect volunteer firefighters. Everybody loves volunteer firefighters. Yeah. Nobody loves a volunteer police officer. In fact, there's nothing more scarier than a volunteer police. Even the police don't trust a volunteer police. That's why they call them vigilantes. I have two cops in my family, and I, and I know that one advantage that cops for sure have is that they get to do their job off duty. Off-duty cops, off-duty cops. That's the only time you hear somebody's occupation inserted into a news story. You do something amazing, and as one of us, we just a regular, you're just a good Samaritan. You ain't no off-duty accountant. <laughs> but if you're a cop, and you're a cop when you didn't have to be a cop, you're now an off-duty cop. And it's always a superhero story from an off-duty. Another news today, an uh, off-duty police officer, he, uh, he pulled a school bus from a tornado by himself. <laughs> The tornado has been taken into custody. <laughs> Off-duty cops, because cop is the only hero job that you can do without equipment. All you need to be a cop is courage. You can be an off-duty firefighter, absolutely. You can be an off-duty firefighter, pull up to the fire. But if you do not have your equipment, you are just a person standing outside of a fire. You are a bystander, that is what you are right now. You. A uh, bystander, you have no truck, you have no water, you at the wrong fire. You should be in the forest. <laughs> I get it. I get why these cops are jealous of firefighters, man. You got all this police reform going on. There hasn't been a single firefighter misconduct video. <laughs> no firefighter misconduct. Plus, as a firefighter, it is, it's got to be hard to be prejudiced as a firefighter. Have your job in the smoke. You can't see who you're saving. <laughs> you don't know. Like, like, if you a firefighter, you're trying to be prejudiced, that means you got to pat around and you got to listen for race. You got to hear it. You got to, <laughs> fire department, call out. Fire department, you in here? Fire department, I'm over here, cuz. Save me, bro. This floor is all clear. Headed upstairs. Temple. <laughs> Thank you to the first responders. Thank y'all so much for having me, man. Appreciate it.
on and on and on. Uh, I said, and it's on and on and on.